Well, good morning everybody. It's um, 20 to 9 on um, Thursday the 22nd of uh, May. Um, Dean and I um, carried on through the night last night and um, we managed to get uh, we managed to do 51 kilometres in the end um, and we're down here at uh, Northside Farm in uh, Hollow Hill sorry that's just how tired I am we got in about quarter past one in the morning and um, so we booked one of these things one of these micro lodges as you can see which um, which is is actually very very comfortable however all the micro lodges are named and we went to the one that we booked and there's blokes in there asleep um, so that was a bit demoralizing um, having already spoken to the owner um, at 9 o'clock at night yesterday 9 p.m. yesterday um, she says uh, you know the key will be in the door so we hunted around um, all of the other lodges or oh, they call them wigwams and uh, you know it's not what I would call a wigwam but never mind and uh, the key was in the door this one um, we booked bedding um, and clearly as you can see there is no bedding um, so um, tried to phone the owner many many times over the course of 20 minutes um, but to no avail um, there's a little heater here, a little night storage heater um, so we battened down the hatches and uh, switched on the heater um, I, uh, I personally got changed out of all of the clothes that I had so um, new socks new underwear new new trousers new t-shirt put my um my my fleece top on put my put my jacket on um and uh, as you can see here i've used two two of these little mattresses as a pillow and uh dean dean used his rucksack as a pillow and um uh, got some sleep, but basically just so exhausted, fell asleep straight away. Um, but my um, my other T-shirt and uh, my trousers, um, even though we you know we walked into the into the you know kind of late night, um, were just soaking in sweat. So um, not wanting to sleep in that kit, um, got out of it. So what what the plan is is Dean's just going to find the lose. Um, but what the plan is is um, I'll actually get changed back into those into those trousers which are uh, no they're not they're all right they're not they're not smelly um, and keep these clothes for um, for tomorrow basically it's absolutely hoofing it down with rain outside and it has been for um, for quite some time definitely the last two hours um, and that's be I say that because the rain was really heavy on the roof um, but the plan is that um, we'll, we'll get some of the wheat and we're going to take a leisurely stroll today uh, as we've got about 15 miles today into Newcastle city centre where we're staying tonight and then final day tomorrow um, it'll be Segadina and then along the coast and up um, We've got a couple of more blisters but only really small ones uh, Dean's got some raw toes I believe um, and he's he's got a bit of a cold uh, I shouldn't say that he's all blocked up that was the wrong thing to say he's all blocked up I really feel for him um, but I think he's all right um, so we'll just see what's gonna happen good morning it's uh, near half eleven now just leaving Northside Farm. You can see it's chucking it down. My heels are in rag order. My groin's in rag order. 
Well, good afternoon. So, bit of a temporary setback this afternoon. We kind of start and when we should be finished. It's now half four in the afternoon and we've just been dropped off at Hollow Hill. We stayed down down there last night but uh, just after I set off this morning um, I made the decision to stop and go back to the wigwams and uh, cut the dressings off and it was apparent that uh, I needed medical attention so picked up Went back to Hexham Hospital, uh, where I was, I think I was there about three hours or so, and uh, had my uh, wo uh, wounds cleaned and redressed. And the staff in the A and E or Emergency Care Centre, as they call them these days, um, were very, very understanding indeed, and uh, supported me in my decision to want to carry on. So, the um, overall decision that we've made is that um, we're not going to go to Whitley Bay, we're only going to go to Wall's End. So we're going to get as far as we can uh, today. And I'm hoping that I will get to uh, where we're staying tonight in the centre of Newcastle. Then um, we, we'll uh, try and get at least halfway um, to the overall finish um, today. And then um, do that little bit of distance extra tomorrow. But we'll soon see. So the weather has been rain the majority of the day. I think we're spitting now overcast, bit of a wind, um, as for my heels, heels are sore but manageable, I think we've got about nine miles to do uh, to get to where we're staying tonight in the middle of Newcastle itself. So thanks to Dean for being so understanding. And uh, you won't be able to hear me properly because I've got the waterproof back on. So a little, di a little disappointing, and I'm, I'm actually quite disappointed with myself. But you know, at least we should be able to make it to Wall's End, which ultimately is the overall aim, and then we'll have walked the length of the Roman Wall path. We're now just crossing the road by uh, Albemarle Barracks, um, where the Royal Artillery are, and we're going to be on our merry way, well as merry as we can be, considering what's happened today and the uh, change in weather. Welcome, I'm uh, going to make this quite brief because we need to get a shift on because it looks like the rain's coming. But we're at the Roman fort uh, at Rochester called Vindobala. And clearly, there's nothing left.
It's uh, 20 past 8 now and we've probably got about 5 miles to go. Right, we're going over the A1 now. Oh my life. So many times I've driven on. Basically we've got A1 South. A1 South in that direction. So you basically go down there and round the corner to the metro centre. And then A1 North. Morpeth, Jedburgh, up to Edinburgh. But you see the, uh, the lane that goes off the left is the A69 to Hexham and then Carlisle. So we're kind of skipping round um, a bit of dangerous road and then back onto the Tyne again. And then along into uh, Newcastle city centre, which will be quite welcoming. But as I say, we've got a bit to go yet, but and we're also going to stop for something to eat. See you soon. Okay, so crossing the road now, uh, I've come, up, come out of a really long lane, which is about a mile and a half long. I can see the Angel of the North in the, in the distance now, Dean. Yeah, if you come out behind the trees, you see it on the horizon there? Oh yeah. I wonder if we'll see that with GoPro. But basically, uh, what we need to start doing now is uh, start heading down to the river because for this last section, we actually walk well, certainly the last section of today, I'm going to walk down uh, right on the on the riverfront, on the, you know, on the quayside basically, or what is was known as the quayside, and uh, according to the map anyway. But we, I think, I think we're going to stop. Uh, we're going to go under the Tyne Bridge and then peel off there to go to our accommodation. Greetings. It's. Uh, 20 past nine now, um, two, two miles to go until our accommodation and uh, we're, we've just dropped down off the main road right onto the River Tyne. There you can see, you know, for the past six miles or so, um, the route has um, been called the Hadrian's Way, as I've discussed previously. Well, hello, it's now... Uh, just coming up to 10 to 10 and we've just turned this bend here and actually for us we've walked along this last 50 meters behind me you can see there and we've come in sight of um you know a lot of the bridges over the tines really a nice sight and um, so from this point you know we can see more predominantly the time bridge and the new Millennium Bridge, which you, I don't know that you'll be able to see that that close on the GoPro, but um, very, very close now. I think we have to walk under the Tyne Bridge and then turn left and go up to into Newcastle City Centre. So there's almost a change of smell in the air, you know, you can, kebabs, that's what I can smell. <laughs> yeah, so very nearly there now less than a mile to go and uh, I think that's we've done just uh, oh, always puts a smile on my face to see that bridge So Thursday night, it's a hip happening night in Newcastle. Been a uh, great number of years since I've been here on the lash. Like 14 years. I've got to find out where we're going now.
Oh, 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 oh,